before showing you the table about Queen Shabbat, Shabbat is called, called Queen Shabbat, and we welcome Shabbat like we welcome a king, as you can see, with the pictures will come out, and the song with Mor David, you should have composed my song, is playing a hubor. So after this song, we'll see the table of Shabbat the Queen. Now let us see the table about Queen Shabbat. So what we see here is the following. You see here the sentence Shabbat Hamalka, which is in Hebrew Shabbat the Queen. Now amazingly, it comes with a verse, really, which speaks about keeping Shabbat, six days, six doing things, and the seventh day you are resting. So, the everyone will rest in family. Then, what is also interesting is that we know Shabbat is a time of blessing. And here again, written, Hashem Elokechem, Be'echat Lachmechat, Mamecha will bless you bread, liquids remove sickness for your meals, lots of blessings. Shabbat brings shalom, you know, Chazal says Shabbat is a time for studying Torah. Looking more into this table, we have interesting, we have Mashiach, you know, already we saw a few times, it's in the merit of keeping Shabbat with Mashiach, and Ben Ishai will come, we have Ben Ishai, really amazing, coming Ben Ishai, cutting the word Mashiach, and more interesting thing coming here, the verse which speaks about Jewish people came from Egypt, splitting up the Red Sea, and they achieved the attribute of Iru, Amet Hashem, the fear of, uh, fear of God, 
believe in God and in Moses his servant. Now we know Shabbat is a day that supposed to strengthen the faith in God, belief in God, fear of God, a lot of interesting indications in Kabbalah about Shabbat the Queen. So interesting table as we said, Shabbat the Queen. Let us really keep it properly and then we hope we'll have peace with Mashiach coming, Mashiach Benishai.